Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The SNP are a curiously odd bunch. There is an election for a council place going to be held in Bells Hill in North Lanarkshire. This was due to the resignation of the disgraced councillor Jordan Linden, a man who liked to inappropriately touch teenagers. Uh, he quit the party, uh, strangely hasn't been prosecuted or brought to book uh, over this, but he's gone from the party. The people who highlighted this problem, who complained about him, uh, they were in some cases suspended, in two cases uh, thrown out of the party. Uh, the remaining five who were suspended uh, then quit the party in disgust uh, and are sitting on the council but as independents. Uh, so there is no SNP representation on that council, um, which is a good thing. So there is this election coming up, this by-election for this council seat uh, coming up. Uh, and the, the, obviously the SNP would like to put forward a candidate. And so who do they pick? And this is why I think they're curiously odd. They pick a man who was previously a member of the SNP, who then quit the party in disgust, who then stood against the SNP at an election, and is now back in the SNP and wanting to stand for them again. Uh, but he promises not to quit honest this time. Why? Are there no one else available that they have to get this man who's quit the party once to stand? Or is it just that Bells Hill is already a lost cause and they don't care who they put up? It, it seems to be the case because uh, they're, they're very unlikely to win this council seat, uh, the SNP, because people in Bells Hill in North Lanarkshire are utterly disgusted with them. But we'll take a look at this article to see what kind of mad decision this really is. Here goes. So, SNP, pick former anti-SNP candidate in sex scandal council by-election. Uh, there's a picture on the right, Jordan Linden, the toucher-upper of teenagers. And on the left, Joe Budd. Uh, he is the, now if I can get this right, he was SNP. He then became ex and anti-SNP. And now he's ex, ex, anti-SNP. That's right, yes, uh, because, of course, he's back in the SNP again. You know, uh, I do like a little bit of political flip-flopping. Uh, anyway, the SNP has chosen a candidate who quit the party and then stood against it as an independent in a bid to win a council by-election mired in scandal. The party selected civil engineer Joe Budd to represent it in the Bells Hill by-election in North Lanarkshire. The contest was triggered by the resignation of the disgraced former council leader, Jordan Linden, over allegations of sexual misconduct, which he, of course, denied. Um, and he can deny it, but then he quit. Uh, so he must have been, you know, no smoke without fire. Um, if he was utterly innocent, he would never have quit, would you? You just wouldn't. You just go, no, these allegations are, are baseless, blah, 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 carry on. But he quit, uh, perhaps because even he knows uh, it was probably true, possibly, he says. Um, or at least it was objectively plausible, put it that way. Um, in March 2021, Mr Budd stood against the SNP in the Thornywood by-election in North Lanarkshire, which was triggered by the SNP's Stephen Bonner resigning after being elected as an MP. Uh, yes, because you can't hold both um, a council, you can't be a councillor and an MP, apparently. Uh, which seems fair, you know, you, you can't dedicate time to uh, to both jobs. Uh, Mr Budd came third with 518 votes, or 18.9% of the vote. Uh, so it was a very low turnout, I suspect. Uh, and Labour gained the seat from the SNP. Uh, speaking ahead of that contest, Mr Budd told the North Lanarkshire Live webcast, a lot of people don't believe in the SNP. They don't believe in independence. Personally, I'm an independence su uh, supporter, but I don't agree with all the SNP's policies. I was previously a member, but there was just too much I couldn't agree with to stay as a member, so we need more independent candidates representing this area. And now, mysteriously and miraculously, in two years, a little over two years, the SNP has changed so much that he now feels he can align himself with the SNP's morals and standards. Um, I think that says more about him than the SNP, uh, since the, uh, the SNP doesn't have much by way of morals or standards. But uh, is, is, he, um, 
is he now sort of uh, capitulating to the fact that he knows that unless he represents the SNP, he'll never get a seat? Or is it that the SNP are desperate and will take anybody who's willing to stand under their flag? Uh, even Either way, I can't believe that uh, Bud has changed his mind uh, in, with regards to what he thinks of the SNP. I think it is quite a, a cynical attempt just to become uh, an, you know, an elected official and earn some money from the public purse. Uh, Mr Budd is one of 10 candidates contesting the June 15th by-election alongside Anne McCrory for Labour, Colin Cameron for the Tories, John Colt for the Lib Dems, John Marshall for Alaba, Rosemary McGowan for the Scottish Greens. There's also UKIP, British Unionist, Scottish Family Party and Free Alliance candidates. Because you have to mention them. Uh, the by-election comes as the SNP opposition group in North Lanarkshire is in disarray as a result of the Linden affair and years of internal friction. Well, one of the things that happened here, and I have covered this in other videos, but as a brief sort of passing mention, is you had this Jordan Linden. Uh, Linden. This all came up about him touching uh, teenagers, uh, or at least one teenager, uh, allegedly. Um, and when they complained, uh, the the councillors themselves that complained have been punished by the party and thrown out of the party. Um, but the, the, the person they complained to basically ignored and swept, uh, ignored them and swept the problem under the carpet. Presumably she was completely happy and therefore complicit in, uh, you know, the, the, the sex crimes that were going on in her, uh, well, you know, in her council um, for her responsibility. She must, she was complicit with these if she did not investigate or bring this matter to, you know, more senior attention, uh, which sort of tells you what she is. Um, which I'm not going to go into all that, you know, I've done the videos on that, so uh, we'll, we'll leave that there. But it just goes to show the sort of the state of the party that they will protect the, uh, the perpetrator rather than side with the victims. Uh, anyway, at last year's local elections, the SNP gained control of North Lanarkshire from Labour and Councillor Linden became its 45,000 a year leader. He, but he quit within weeks after allegations of sexual misconduct were made against him. He admitted causing a teenage boy a sense of discomfort, which he said he entirely regretted. Uh, his exit led to Labour retaking control of the council and in March this year, Linden finally quit as a councillor after more sex pest claims against him, which again he denies. But when there's multiples, there, you know, the multiple claims against it, you have to think there's no smoke without fire. There's got to be something there. Uh, he said, my resignation is due to the extreme impact all this is having on my life. He lied. Uh, last year, eight SNP councillors raised concerns about local and national parties handling of complaints against Linden and they were subsequently sanctioned, accused of bringing the party into disrepute. Two of the group were expelled and five suspended for six months last week, leading to all of them resigning from the SNP. Uh, an SNP spokesman said, Joe is well known in the constituency as a willing volunteer and the local branch are happy to get behind him again, even though he left us and stood against us and said that we don't align with his views. They didn't say. Weird, isn't it? Why would you pick someone unless you were so very desperate to get anybody to stand for you? It's because the SNP are becoming embarrassing. People are starting to question, should they align themselves? Should they even admit to aligning with them because they're so bad now? I think it would all end in tears. Uh, I think it's not going to be a happy ending for this party as it goes, and especially with all the scandals that keep coming up time and time again. Anyway, I shall round off and I shall come up. So yes, it does definitely seem like rather an odd choice uh, to select someone who previously stood against you and who actually left your party because he disagreed so much with the stance you have on many issues. You can't trust him. You surely wouldn't trust him. Um, it's either a cynical attempt, as I say, to, to get a seat because he's desperate for it. Or maybe he wants to destroy them from the inside. It could be some kind of, you know, um, ploy, you know, so covert operation, a false flag operation, trying to, you know, inside, you know, get an inside take on it uh, and bring them down from the inside. I, I think that's entirely possible, too. I think it would be marvellous. I think it'd be fantastic if that was the case. Uh, but, you know, they, they, they should never have taken on someone who stood uh, so openly against them. You can never trust them 
Um, and that's that's it. But it's up to them. You know, if they want to hasten their own defeat, then uh, who am I to stop in their way? Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see and hear on the channel, please hit the subscribe button right there. Ring that bell. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Please share the video. Uh, but definitely leave a like. And until next time, stay safe. Stay well. Keep your enemies close. And goodbye. <laughs>